Well, come on back, everybody. Kick on back, kick off your shoes, and just get ready because we have another couple games coming up for you. Third match of the day. Let's go ahead and check out who's giving it. Because I would love to talk to our GM, our dear, lovely GM, Blasphemous Roar. Come on, come on, Roar. Let's chat. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, this music's good. Blasto. Yeah. Anime Roar. Rawr. What? I'm Super Saiyan Roar. Oh, geez. That's pretty intense. Do you see it? Do you see what happens when you're a Super Saiyan? This is a power you could only achieve in your dreams, bro, Sencha. So we got a Dragon Ball Z game. Also, no, usually in my dreams, I like punch really weak. Okay. No, actually, we, we don't. <laughs> I, Bro, okay. And then I end up punching in real life and I wake myself up because I tried to punch something. Once punched a wall and bled all over a blanket, ruined it that way. It doesn't sound very Super Saiyan of you. No, it was super dumb. It's okay. This isn't Super Saiyan either. Let me let me tell you a little quick thing about pilot episodes and sitcoms. Uh -oh. You see, in every sitcom, all right, the, the original episode tends to be the following group of people who have known each other for a while introduce new character into the full okay. all right that's that's a lot of sitcoms and how they start it's the first episode so this group of people know each other take friends for example all the rest of the friends know each other and now rachel's into the full take uh take brooklyn 99 all the people know each other now suddenly there's captain holt Friggin' even Big Bang Theory. Look at these people that know each other. I haven't watched Big Bang Theory. I'm just saying it's there. Suddenly they introduce the neighbor next door. So you take and how I met your mother. Suddenly Robin. All right. That's how sitcoms work. And no other sitcom has has shown this exact creation method like the sitcom we're about to watch. And what? even though I have no webcam and nobody can see it, I'm currently holding my hands up like a little camera frame over the game reveal for some stupid reason okay. that I don't understand, but it helps me to say things. Because we're going to be playing one of the greatest sitcoms of all time. Uh, okay, what? X-Men. I don't think that's a sitcom. You see, in the original X-Men, uh, in the original run of the X-Men back in the 60s, there were the original four characters, Cyclops, Beast, Iceman, and Warren, whatever his name, last Warren name is. Warren Buffett? No, Warren Winston or whatever, <laughs> the third. The Angel, known as the Angel. The so angel. It, was, okay, okay. It, was, it was Beast, Cyclops, Iceman, and Angel, and the very first episode, the there, we're in Worthington the third. There we go. The very first episode, very first comic, they yeah. introduced Jean Grey into the equation. Oh, Jean Grey. See? Just like every sitcom and every story, you start with group of people. Now the world is shifted because another person came in. Uh -huh. But really, that's not what happened in the X-Men because the, see, the X-Men had a benefit with the power set that it created. See, everybody's power set at the start of the X-Men was really reasonable. And it meant that you could put somebody in with a silly, stupid, not all that great of a power and it'd still be an actual threat. I'm not going to say that about Magneto. Magneto is actually a serious threat. Um, but you see, they have, you could put, I don't know, this guy's a big guy who can't really be pushed aside. Or this guy on a little, in a little, you know, running, or this guy has the power to literally not be stopped. Or this guy can't be touched. This is, this is, this is how the X-Men originally started and nothing ruined the X-Men more than it being indoctrinated into the Marvel universe over the actual, like it, it being introduced to the Marvel universe proper. When the X-Men was his own self-contained universe, power scaling was reasonable, but when it became part of the Marvel universe, they had to up the power scaling of X-Men to the point where they could keep up with some of the big hitters as well. To the point where Iceman can literally get like decapitated and his body shattered. And then he could draw the blood out of his enemies in the air and use them to reform his body. So what I'm trying to say here is, I really don't know. 
seriously, what is up with the X-Men and their power scaling? But we're going to see the X-Men at a slightly lesser power scale this time on the Game Gear. In fact, we're going to take all of that power and we're going to put it in a tiny little box. And is it going to be good as a result of that? God, no. The X-Men never had a good, a good thing to, like... The X-Men never had a good game to begin with! You talk a lot. Hi. <laughs> Are they all set up? <laughs> uh, I don't see Seth streaming right now. <laughs> see? I was just trying to give you time to, like, build up. No, I know. I know. I'm actually working I on was, getting I stuff. Trying to I, get you I set appreciate up. you. I appreciate you. And he's like, you just talk a lot. Oh, right, fine. You know what? I'm going to shut up. You can go ahead and carry the conversation as you get all these players set up on stream. Hey, Your you turn, can. bro. I do that all the time, okay? Literally, like, every weekend, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Roar, I'm so glad that you have a lot of opinions about them. I don't know if they're your real opinions. No, these are actually my real opinions on the X-Men. I grew up as a huge X-Men fan. X-Men was my jam, all right? I loved X-Men 92. I got into the comics. My local library had the original comics and the uh, trades. Um, for the original run up to like episode or up to like issue like 130 or something. I don't even remember. So like I grew up with classic X-Men. I grew up on X-Men 92. I grew up playing the video games. I grew up playing Marvel Overpower. Do you know what Overpower is? Did you know that Marvel had a TCG? Except that it was actually a TCG that incorporated many comic books. That's right. I used to play a friggin low level TCG that nobody actually like played. Yes, Overpower was awful, but I played it. When you say they had a Marvel TCG, what I'm hearing is they had a Marvel the card game. Uh, trading card game. Oh, tra trading card game. That's what the TCG, or that's what the T is because I thought it meant the card game. So I was thinking, uh, the card game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would actually Marvel? make a pretty good joke. Uh, we'll go, go play Marvel, uh, the card game. <laughs> I mean, hey, uh, it, like, I still haven't. The thing is that over time, again, as I said, the the, uh, the X-Men really, they, they integrated into the Marvel Universe as a whole. And we saw things like Wolverine being added to the Avengers, which is sure Wolverine is a, uh, you know, a huge threat because he can't exactly be taken down very effectively. But also is... Wolverine even as strong as like maybe actually no I, I think Wolverine is probably exactly as strong as Captain America but no none of the other Avengers and that's the thing is that they really did go from just like look at this simple power scaling of these guys are the ability to like uh you know like oh, Cyclops he shoots a laser beam out of his eyes and here's the thing it's just a concussive blast that's actually hard enough to actually like just mostly like knock people over it's not actually originally powerful enough to blast through tons of buildings and cut a city in half like it is later on. Or at least they have the courtesy to knock him out every once in a while. Heck yeah, take that, you nerd. Yeah, uh, I am a nerd. I'm no, here no, playing I'm talking the video about, game tournament. Talk no, about, I'm talking to. I'm talking, I'm talking about to, Cyclops. I know, but I'm talking, I'm, I'm responding specifically to Kelly Cryos in chat. Uh, also, yeah, have you ever looked at what this tournament is about? We're playing freaking X-Men for for Game Gear. Oh no, for Game Gear. <laughs> Did you just realize that? I just realized that, okay. Oh no, for Game Gear. I gotta get stuff set up. I don't have time to worry about the particulars. Everybody thought I was the Disney princess, but they didn't realize I was actually hidden Game Gear in disguise. <laughs> Yeah, every, everybody watch out for Game Gears. They what? <laughs> more than meets the eye. Uh, I do love these uh, these select options. They are, uh, as you can see, let me go ahead and pull them up on my side so I can re so I can remember exactly what all the options are because you can see the, the difficulty is piece of cake, Ooh. Uh, which is the game that difficulty that they're going to be playing on, which is um, not exactly a piece of cake. Uh, oh, I didn't ask who's otter, who's... No, it's okay. I'm we totally... got it. We got it figured out. Uh, Tetsuya's giving us audio. Right I am now. totally terrible. 
All right, so yeah, we got Tetsuya giving us audio good because that tells me who I can put up on my screen. It's your bad. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, we have difficulty piece of cake or I don't think so. With music playback of 45 RPM, 33 RPM or not. Sound effect of annoying and off. Seriously, OFF with an exclamation point. I love that their sound effects is quote unquote annoying. Uh, yeah, yeah, annoying. Why is it? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. So who's your favorite X-Man, Brosentia? Uh, I don't know. I like, I like, uh, the, the one that, oh, Storm. She's pretty cool. I like Thank Storm. you. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, yes, victory. Where do you want them to start? Do you want them to start on the difficulty screen? Uh, game, sta stage select screen. Stage select. Okay. Okay, good. You said storm, and that makes me happy. I also was going to say storm. Yeah. Uh, Storm is pretty awesome. Like, I never see... She's never done anything dumb, in my opinion. She's always been awesome. Yeah. They, they, she's she's wonderful. She's punk as all heck. And she uh, she's claustrophobic, which makes her... have Gives her a fair weakness. Probably because she can't ah. maneuver around in that. Yeah. So, question. Uh... They are starting at stage select. Are they going in a stage order or? They are. They're going to be doing the stage order of quote unquote, potted plant, super wooden bridge thing, cave rainforest pagoda finale. Okay, I'm doing a countdown in Discord because everybody, you should spam all of your emotes, anything that has to deal with X-Men, including explosions, uh, sound effects, uh, stabbies. I don't know, what else do X-Men have? Lasers. Hear me out on this. Seriously, spam your pride emotes. X-Men was all about diversity yes. and acceptance of everybody for who they are. So spam your pride emotes. Oh, I know this game. All right. Do you know this game? Because you might know X-Men Mojo World or X-Men Game Master Legacy or X-Men Spider-Man and the X-Men. But get I, this. I think it was There's Mojo World, yeah. Yeah, it was Mojo World that's been seen before, but this is this is uh, this is X Men Game Master Legacy, or no, no, sorry, this is just X Men, not Game Master Legacy, just X Men. Yeah. So, here's the wonderful part about this game that I totally didn't tell the players. By the way, the Game Gear has three buttons and a switch. That's all the ways you can interact with the Game Boy Gear. All right, you have a button one, a button two, and a start button. And Colm Ellery has pressed the start button. Or is it listed as I am Spectre on the screen? Okay. I am Spectre, Spectre is the, the Twitch name, yeah. Yeah, so Spectre has pressed the start button. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how you activate your mutant power. So that's going to let... Oh, looks like Seth has also pressed the start button. Okay. It's important. As they press the start button, this allows you to pull out Wolverine's claw and those claws and also generates a your healing factor. Wait, wait, wait. If you don't have your claws out, you don't heal? Yeah, I mean, he's got to have his mutant power out. I don't think that's how it works, but okay, sure, I'll roll with it. Because otherwise, he's not being a mutant. He's just being a normal person. Yeah, Tetsuya appears to be the only person who went with Cyclops, by the way. Uh, is Cyclops worth anything at all? Yeah, I mean, he's got a ranged attack that's pretty dang good uh, in consideration. Um... Who would this you is, be playing as? I would actually probably be playing as. Let me see. The first boss here is Sebastian Shaw, so I actually would. I would be. Uh, I would be playing as Wolverine. <laughs> um, Wolverine does do enough damage to Sebastian. Now they are playing on easy, so I don't. I don't know how difficult this game is. Uh, it's been a while since I played, uh, so I'm not actually all that certain on what the difficulty scaling on this looks like. Uh, for hard. I actually really like that they changed the name from easy to piece of cake, uh, because a lot of the times when different games do that, they end up, like, calling you a baby and stuff. But no, this one just 
it makes it a cool phrase in a way that's not insulting. Yeah, it's just yeah. saying, hey, this is going to be a piece of cake. And then hard is also sufficiently like trying to scare you off with I don't think so. Although I'm, I'm really a fan of Doom, uh, the Doom guy being dressed in the the baby, uh, the baby gear. He's so cute as a baby, okay? Did you just see that fall damage is a thing? Yes, you <gasps> did. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, how far do you have to fall? Actually, I don't know if it's fall damage or if you landed on the flames. So, S Tetsuya is now in the Sebastian Shaw fight. Um, I, so, if you don't know who Sebastian Shaw is, Sebastian Shaw is... I don't know if he's got a mutant name or if they all just call him Sebastian Shaw all the time. But basically, he's got the ability to absorb any kinetic energy coming his way. Uh, typically, he will then, you know, spit it out at you. Um, so here he is being a pain and just shirtless and just, you know, running at you like crazy. He's shirtless? Wait, like, how am I talking? Oh, you're way behind on Tetsuya's screen? No, there it is. Tetsuya's fighting Sebastian Shaw. Oh, yeah, there we are. I don't Sorry, know if you're I way was, behind or what? No, I was looking at everybody else's screen because I didn't see any enemies on Tetsuya's screen. So I'm like, yeah. all those other guys have shirts. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. So Shaw is, of course, staring at you and absorbing your shots there as Tetsuya unloads an entire face full of fire of blasts into him. And Shaw is, of course, just laughing it off. And Tetsuya goes down, which means that Tetsuya has lost the use of Cyclops and <gasps> now must fight as Wolverine. Uh, okay. uh apparently i'm way ahead or did you fix that no 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 i'm i'm a little bit concerned is he permanently lost yes if you lose an x-men that is your lives you are permanently lost that x-men throughout the game and that is basically losing a life now the good news is every time they clear a stage they free another x-men for use yes uh do you do you know who's gonna be freed or is it the uh, same for each stage that, you it know? It is the same for each stage. Right now, defeating uh, this level unlocks, I believe... Uh... Joe, the X-Men. <laughs> Joe! No, I Could don't, be Joe. I don't remember which one they unlocked for this one. Uh, Darwin, the ex. I don't know who Darwin is. Uh, Storm, please, please be Storm. This FAQ doesn't tell me who unlocks where. Oh, there we go. Joe X. Classic X Men. He's the oldest of the X Men. By the way, I did do the. Uh,. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a quote? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, I so one thing about this is that Sebastian Shaw is also one of the hardest bosses. Uh, so basically, when he's flexing there, he's invulnerable. You actually have to like lure him onto the fire. Wait, you start them with one of the hardest bosses? Look, all right. I was just trying to make sure there was a stage order. All right. <laughs> Okay, I okay. Besides, how is the poor kid supposed to know this is the hardest boss when he jumps into the start of the game? Yeah, how am I, I could... supposed to know, bro? Did you play this as a kid? No, God, no. I didn't have a G Game Gear. Well, maybe you should have. I had should have. Didn't have this. Oh, yeah. Nope, that's definitely fall damage. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, apparently the main room in the game where you do the stage select is called the Danger Room. It is. It is the danger room. You're choosing on the on on Cerebro which enemy you're choosing to fight. Oh, Tetsuya has Shaw locked onto a fire. Is in fact holding him down while he just drains that health because the fire and the damage from the fire is less than your normal punch. If he had his claws out, that would have been more. But Tetsuya gets it, gets the clear, and unlocks the most broken character in the game. Oh, Welcome to Nightcrawler. He is always broken. Like I think every game Nightcrawler is in, he's just the best. He is particularly broken in this one because during the final boss fight, 
um, while you're in the middle of the final boss fight, you can just nope out of the arena, explore the rest of the level, get some higher health, and then come back and fight the final boss some more. <laughs> oh, I love uh, it. That's good. I almost wanted to ban Nightcrawler and Storm in particular from this game uh, because they really are overpowered, but I figured instead what we're going to do is inform the players that Rogue and Nightcrawler are overpowered. Now, the ups downside is that Nightcrawler is a little bit squishy, so, you know, maybe be careful with him. Yeah, and I, I'm assuming they're playing without any, like, there's no save system in this game, right? Is there nope, a password system? There is no password system. Okay, so if they lose an X-Men, they're just gone. So I, I think that if you're playing with Nightcrawler and you lose him really quickly, you may wish to consider hitting that reset button. What reset button? There's no reset button. You okay, have to turning the, the power off, off and on. Whatever. <laughs> Turn the power Whatever. off and on. Right now, Tetsuya has lost a lot of health with Nightcrawler, but also, what is this enemy's hitbox? Like, it literally can't touch. Nightcrawler is actually on a boss fight here, and so Tetsuya is just kind of like winning, I guess. As Tetsuya goes for another stage clear here with Nightcrawler. Wait, is this and a it's boss? That is, that is a boss. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know, but the boss is going down. Maybe I should have banned Nightcrawler and Storm. <laughs> eh, crawling or crouching and kicking. I think every character has something like that. Yeah, I don't remember which character that was. Yeah. Okay, so, so now we've got Storm, I think, is yep. what I just saw. In the Morlock Tunnel, Storm is there. Uh, so what's the next level? This is the... Um... This is the, as I told them, it was the quote unquote, uh, in there, uh, this is the brood cave. Brood cave. So one of the most terrifying races yeah, humanity has ever faced. The brood enemies protect their queen with mutant shredding intergalactic weapons. That's scary. Do you have a wiki up ready to pull, like type in our enemies just to find out? I'm actually looking at the manual. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. You know what? I Sometimes I can use my Google foo. Look, I found out information about a Korean only developer who only made one game. I can figure anything out. But can you see why kids love the cinnamon toast cr taste of cinnamon toast crunch? Because kids are dumb. That's why. Apt. <laughs> <laughs> But can you see why do Wither Warriors wander the way where the one thing wonders wait? Say that again. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to say yes, I do. Sure. That's pretty cool. Uh, so Nightcrawler can crawl up walls, but how? How do you do it? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I believe you just, like, press the button up against the wall. Which button? Start? The, the jump button. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, the jump that button. button. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, okay. The thing Tetsuya. is that, like, Nightcrawler is overpowered, but I'm still expecting Tetsuya to, like, lose him on something silly. Uh, the downside is that maybe this shouldn't have been on Piece of Cake difficulty. Maybe I should have upped them. Uh, the X-Men Medallions give at mutant power. The little blue bar. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Honestly, you never really know how the players are going to do. Uh, but with some players, I think you can pretty readily assume they're going to do better than expected. In fact, I'd say with most players, they're going to do better than expected. Yeah, Tetsuya is a really good player. Uh, Tetsuya yeah. is multiple times top aider of Mystery Tournament. Um, proves to be really strong in a lot of the stuff that he does. It's it's no small wonder, or it's 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 no wonder why he's doing so well here. Um, and I think he just teleported back to the start. Slow clap for Tetsuya. Meanwhile, the other players are still having an issue with the uh, the manor here. The Hellfire Club is is that room. I don't like this music. Oh, it's awful. No, this is kind of trash. Wow. I mean, to be fair, the Game Gear isn't exactly known as having the best music in video game history. It's just not great. Uh, let me see. I'm, I'm now curious if any of the Game Gear games that I played earn music points. 
like... Okay, here we go. Let me check. Uh... Solitaire Poker for the Game Gear earned good music, apparently. <laughs> Solitaire Poker? Wow. Solitaire Poker, which is slightly more fun than you expect. Oh, Fatal Fury Special did, because it was actually a good game. Oh, uh, okay. George yeah. Foreman's KO Box Sing. By the way, the person who did the music for this also did the music for X-Men Mojo World. Uh... I, yeah, I believe, oh, oh my gosh, he did the art for this game, oh. the art, the music, and programming. Well, then crawler is down. For Chalkin as well, which is kind of infamous. Oh, so this is why Storm <laughs> is also really powerful, because uh, let's just ignore the stage. Oh, I love Storm. Oh, Storm, you're great. Pew, 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 pew. And she has a ridiculous amount of flight too. It just barely drains her bar. That is beautiful. She's not as overpowered as Rogue is in Mojo World, but she's pretty powerful. So yeah, nope. That's so you just flying around kicking. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has anybody else figured out Sebastian Shaw yet. Like Shaw, I don't think they really have. I, I've seen Shaw on some of the various screens, but no, they're they're still struggling with taking him down. All right, Storm has lost the rest of her mutant power. Uh oh, He's do stuck doing fisticuffs with the brood. Well, that's not going to take too much time. Is like, it not going to take what? too much time? What is it? What is it really not? Oh, are we sure we're safe? Is and Tutsu, you can't nope out. Oh wait, Tutsu, you can nope out of there. Okay, I thought the I thought there was a barrier preventing it. There's only one bar of health left, though. Oh yes, it's close. It's so close, and Tetsuya goes down. Uh, wow. Oh, oh, that is brutal. <laughs> now I remember why I chose this piece of cake because the bosses in this game are silly, absurd powerful, vicious, and puzzly, I guess, in the case of Shaw. Like, admittedly, maybe, like, I think you kind of need to know a, a bit about Shaw's mutant powers, but I mean, you can see him healing if you get him to any level of damage. You can see that he's standing there just tanking the blows. Yep. So you've got to figure that there's a puzzle to this boss. Like some sort of tiger that was seen not too long Shut ago. Up. You gotta figure Shut out. Up, okay. You gotta figure there's something to the boss, Brzezinja. As it turns out, that might not have been a puzzle boss. It wasn't. I watched Mr. Zimbu take an actual, like, clobber him, and then he disappeared at the park. So yeah, Super Shah's just like looking at you. Like what? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is just chilling, okay? He's just enjoying life. Mm. Yeah, he's got no problem tearing you apart. He doesn't uh, really do much. He just stands there. He does. He just stands there and does contact damage. Well, I mean, you want to punch him so that that way you actually, like, stun him on top of the flames. That's what Tetsuya was doing earlier with yes. the up and down shots. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't like this music. Like, it's kind of right. cool in some ways, but in most ways, no. Well, let's see if anybody else can figure out... Oh, Spectre is going towards the flame. Oh, Spectre sees a damage. Does nice. Spectre understand there was the flame that does it? I think maybe, I, I don't know. Oh, Spectre is really trying to dodge. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, okay. Got the claws out for healing. Okay, now hopefully he's gonna see that Shaw is actually healing. Like, act there we go. We can see the health bar goes up. So yep. Spectre realize, has to realize that hitting him is not the way to go here. Yeah, so hopefully Spectre, needs Spectre to figure out realizes that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the next level. Game over. Oh, no! What a beautiful game. So apparently the general story of this game is that essentially when Professor X hears that it's evil half-brother, the Juggernaut is attacking Hoover Dam, he sends Cyclops and Wolverine to stop him. 
Meanwhile, Storm, Iceman, Rogue, and Nightcrawler, and Psylocke are called away to help the U.S. Army defeat a mysterious group of evil mutants running amok in Central Park. Ha <laughs> ha! Wolverine and Cyclops find no trace of a juggernaut at Hoover Dam and return home. In the meantime, the rest of the X-Men have disappeared from their battle in Central Park. Eyewitnesses report that the evil mutants have taken the X-Men hostage. The military could only look on helplessly. You know why? Because, like, the military's ever useful, you know? Yeah. But who are the X-Men's captors? What is the motive for the abduction? Professor X uses Cerebro to tack down the missing mutants. Each one is being held in a separate stronghold, and it becomes increasingly obvious <laughs> that Magneto is responsible. Now it's up to Wolverine and Cyclops to launch a counter-strike to save their captured comrades. Wolverine is ready to slice and dice whatever gets in his way with his razor-sharp adamantium claws. Cyclops will use his searing optic blast to destroy his enemies with a glance. That sounds like an anime move. Searing optic blast. That's why I was anime lion. Oh. X-Men is an anime, right? Yeah, basically. Do you know how much I I will I will gladly cop to my mistakes? I made a mistake recently, uh, for a while, which was looking at My Hero Academia and going, okay, so it's just anime X Men, right? Without realizing that that is one of the most wholesome and empowering shows I have ever watched. Aw, really? Maybe I have to watch it. It's really wholesome. Yeah. Anyways. Blah, blah, blah. They have to go kill all the lackeys and then free the rest of the X-Men and then, I guess, take on Magneto. That's the game. Oh, you can also... It looks like you can also hurt... Yep. Shaw can also be taken down via these little ice blasts here. And it looks like Highwind is now dropping yeah. Shaw's health. There we go. We're probably going to see a first level clear from Highwind. I mean, if the that ice blast, come on, ice. Yeah. It takes forever to fire for them to go off, but... Seth has definitely figured it out. Now, Tetsuya is in the lead. Seth is in second place. Uh, Tetsuya, mind you, got a full game over and has to do a little bit of work to get caught back up. Uh, but yeah, this is looking pretty dang good. By the way, the players are mostly not wanting to come in last. So uh, I am Spectre and Zoe Vermilion. Both of them are a little bit at risk at this point. They need to figure out how to deal with this boss. Now, luckily, I believe that Spectre, uh, during their last fight, had an idea of how to deal with it. Yeah, I saw um, jumping saw over. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, jumping over the flames instead of stun locking them on top of it. I mean, it technically works. It's just that... Uh, you have to be really precise in the way that you enter your inputs. Otherwise, you can easily take damage. Yeah. Uh, Seth and Tetsuya having the right idea, which is to just clobber Shaw and just let... Because your punches don't do nearly enough damage compared to the fire. So he's not absorbing that much health. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the... So basically, the three X-Men games on the Game Gear are, I believe, made by the same developer. Uh, they all play the same way, just some of them have different characters. One of the characters in one of those games is Bishop, which, if you aren't familiar with Bishop's power, it's basically Sebastian Shaw's power. So when you turn it on, he literally becomes immune to damage and heals off of it. So you just kind of run around and just, like, tank lasers and call it a day. And then it also powers him up so that he does more damage. So, uh, well, that's not you fun. run around and tank lasers and call it a day? Oh, yeah, I suppose. By the way, everybody, this was developed, as far as I can see, by Sega of America. They were the ones who made this. So, uh, yeah, blame Sega, everybody, please. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, But... I don't know. It's interesting that it was specifically the America group that made it. But then again, X-Men were mostly an American uh, an American thing. Anyway. All right, so Tetsuya has forsaken Nightcrawler as the X-Men of choice here and is going back to Storm. 
Heck yeah. Uh, and Tetsuya, of course, is doing the boredom dance, which is trying to time kicks in time with the music. And doing a pretty bang up job of it. Don't you just love this music? This smorgasbord of notes that are pretending to be something? Oh, it's sure is music. At least that's what they tell me. By the way, yeah. Now that's I... what I'm told is music. <laughs> hey, oh, Tetsuya, Tetsuya takes comes the boss in down. With a full bar and timed it so that he wasn't just jamming the shot into iframes. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. Doodle -doodle -doodle. Oh, I love the sounds in that screen. I'm not completely sure how you actually change levels, but whatever the players know. <laughs> yeah, from what I see, by the way, with this game, um, or the developers, you know, they did a lot of games, uh, Sega of America, that honestly most people have forgotten. Uh, yeah, at least they did a lot of ports for Sega Master System, but they did work on Mon Wonder Boy and Monster Land. Great, good. Wait. Alex Kidd games, they worked on those. Did this FAQ mess up something? Mess up what? I, I believe they're on Asteroid M, the final level. Oh no! Is that because of the difficulty? Wait, because of the difficulty, we're on to the final level? I think so. What's going on here? Hang on, I'm trying to read up. I didn't even consider that there were... Because apparently there's more characters. Like, this game contains Iceman, Rogue, Storm, Cyclops, Wolverine, Psycholo Psylocke, and Nightcrawler. Let me see here. Ah, welcome to Cusa Grande every once in a while. What... We have fun knowing that the game yep. actually has stuff that uh, we didn't know about. Well, you uh, know, no, I, I think, I think... So difficulty. It, it does, in fact, skip over. You only get to play four of the levels, and then you're missing two of the best characters in the game. Oh, yeah. Are you able to play the other levels, though, if you don't go to the ones that the players did? No, no, no. It's, it only has the first three levels in the next one. Wow. So, yeah. Um, chances of them beating the game are high, except for the fact that Magneto is kind of sort of impossible. Uh, so this is where I tell them if they beat the game, play it on hard, right? Uh, I, I would say that if you... Uh, if you tell them that right now, then that would be completely fine. Yes. Uh, yeah. Should I at them with that? Yes, please do. Please. Uh, okay. Yeah, normally we don't necessarily like to change win conditions, but at the same time, we did not see all of the content that was expected in this game because I guess Blasphemous Roar, maybe you just played it on hard. Is that what you did? What? I might have, I might have also not and not realized there was other levels. It'd been a while, so I was reading an FAQ to check up on stuff and I, it, I missed the first line that says that. I'm terrible. Aha, Tetsuya is back to Nightcrawler because Storm is dead. Ah, well, everybody, we are about 26 minutes into this match with Kuso Grande, the bad vi video game tournament. In general, what we're looking for is people to make as much progress as they can uh, in order to uh, snatch the victory. Uh, now, mind you, we do take into consideration high watermark. Even if you get a game over, you still set the bar for what the other players need to do in order to beat you. Ah, well, that's okay. We're, we're 26 minutes into it, and right now, all of the players are playing on easy difficulty. Essentially, what has been given out, uh, it does not change what they have been doing up to this point, which is trying to get 
to Magneto and defeat him. However, we do have the added stuff where if they complete the game, they will be playing it on hard difficulty so that we get to see all the wonderful levels. Yeah, it really doesn't change the outcome other than the fact that they don't get to just stop after after beating the game. I'm going to do a if quick refresh, by the way, so that everybody is synced back up because Comcast is loving us today, it looks like. They're, they're just coming out of the woodworks and be like, Rah! they look yeah. like Gollum. Luckily, or Bilbo Luckily, Baggins. in updating this one, though, I do want to say that uh, this does... Like, the only way that it would have been a real issue is if I told them to start over on hard, but them just simply doing second loop on hard means that they just keep playing. But, yeah. Whoops. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, Tetsuya do is playing Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler can teleport straight into Magneto's final room. Um because Magneto is basically sitting at the top center of this of this realm. Yeah. Uh, and there it is. Mag Tetsuya has now teleported into Magneto. Indeed. Um, and Tetsuya is going to find soon that Magneto is basically impossible. Uh, he, he sits up there being invulnerable, drops down, fires a shot at you. How do we even... You can't dodge it. You can't really get hit on him because of the stupid barrier. So... Sometimes, oh, Tetsuya has found a decent strat here. Getting the right range to prevent Magneto from shooting a blast. But you may have noticed Magneto hasn't even lost any health, but Tetsuya hasn't even considered you can leave the boss fight room and go find some health. Woo! So, Tetsuya is down. Oh, geez. Who is this character? This is Psylocke. She's got a psychic sword. That's about it. Yeah. Psylocke is like a beloved character, but there's I, I wasn't into X-Men mostly when she was really around. Um, she was basically the answer to do we don't really have a sexy female on our team. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't like to diminish the existence of characters to a degree, but... I was gonna say, they had that's... Nightcrawler. Why? You don't need her. <laughs> oh, baby, Nightcrawler is all I need, okay? Actually, uh, looking at most of the live-action movies, he's really hideous. But in the comics, he's okay. Yeah, it was... Uh, apparently, she was in the, the comic... Uh during the mid-90s, but like I said, during the mid-90s is when I was reading the comics, but I wasn't reading the comics that were out in the mid-90s. I was reading the early run of X-Men. Yeah. Um, but she does show up primarily in the video games um, as well. She shows up in X-Men 2, okay. uh, The Clone Wars, which, by the way, if you didn't know, was the actual title of both the Star Wars and the X-Men. <laughs> It's true. I they're, thought you were going to say Electric Boogaloo, and that would have been cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're X-Men 2 The Clone Wars is a thing um, that exists, and is actually a very, very good game until the final boss, when it is just play not. It is one of the dumbest, hardest final bosses ever, and it deserves to be, like, disappearing off the radar forever as a result of that. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's a really good game. Well, Tetsuya grabbing a little extra health. Honestly, uh, you know, I, I think that Tetsuya is one of those players who uh, always does extremely well. He's made it towards the end of multiple Cusa Grandes. I, I'm not too surprised that Tetsuya has the possibility of beating this on easy relatively soon. And I'm unsure any of the other players are necessarily going to get there. Maybe they will, but Tetsuya just, like, kicks but when it comes to this. Well, Tetsuya also, uh, because Tetsuya is not Nightcrawler, can't just teleport right through to the end. This is actually a large mazy level. Uh. So it's going to take a decent bit of a navigating, and unless he finds some of the hidden health, uh, is also going to kick his butt. Oh, yeah. Like, all of the... I, I see Tetsuya's health has been going down pretty dang steadily. Uh, I Am Spectre, by the way, is really abusing Nightcrawler's movement in this. I love it. So good. Um, 
the reason that you didn't know that Psylocke is in X-Men 2 uh, is, or the reason you didn't know uh -oh. that Psylocke is in X-Men 2 is because um, you were too busy either playing as Gambit or Beast or Magneto. Yeah, who would play as Psylocke? She's kind of got a garbage mutant power. Like, What's all she power? does is a melee attack with slightly longer range. Oh, whatever. I wish I could do that. Okay. Like, yeah, if I tried to poke somebody's eye. Like, I wouldn't have to get up in someone's grill to poke their eyes. Yeah, but you can also, like, throw cards as Gambit. And hang on walls as Gambit. Nightcrawler can't teleport through walls in X-Men 2, so he's not as great as he is in X-Men... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I almost finished the sentence that Nightcrawler is good in, in the original X-Men game for Genesis. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> well, I mean, he can't teleport through walls, but good luck ever teleporting Nightcrawler wherever you want him to go. It I think he's work pretty in good in the NES version. I mean, he doesn't look like Nightcrawler, but that's because nobody looks like anything. Yeah, well, um, the NES version is its own special magic. I think we own that, actually. It's one of the, like, here's the deal. Justin, for some reason, uh, Justin's mother was like, hey, let's get you bulk video games rather than, you know, looking to find good ones, just finding the cheapest ones that are available. You know, and if you have a lot of bad video games, it actually equals one good video game. Uh, unless you really like bad video games, in which case you got the jackpot. Yeah, exactly. Well, I was going to say, I have married the right person. Because, yeah, we we totally didn't get any wedding or engagement gifts, but I got X-Men for the NES. <laughs> <laughs> and I got Justin, too, so that was pretty dang awesome, okay? Justin's better than X Men for the NES. Is he really though? I yeah, you know. Shut up! Is, is love just blinding you? Look, I'm gonna get Psylocke's powers and I'm gonna poke you in the eyes. Oh no! Not yeah, my eyes. Now love's blinding you, huh? I guess so. Oh, Highwind actually doing something that Tetsuya didn't really do, which is uh being a ranged attack user uh -huh. instead of just blasting. Close range. Seth Highwin gets through. I am Spectre. I keep hearing, like, I am an inspector. And I'm like, ooh, what are you inspecting? Oh my gosh. There we go. Spectre manages just barely. <sighs> All right. So oh Spectre gosh. and Seth now on to the. Uh, now on to the last level. Yep. As Spectre seems to try to change the levels, our characters for a bit there, and then realizes that there's no other level to change to, and yeah. Tetsuya also has restarted. Oh my gosh. Well, honestly, Tetsuya was running down, uh, running out of the characters that he really liked. I think that restarting is probably a better idea than just grinding through and trying to do it uh you know with a character who has to wander through the maze take a lot of damage and then just dies in one or two hits anyway yeah that I is it's a good idea that's the reason why like the, the the part of the reason why i made them play on easy is because i did remember that i played on easy i didn't know about the other two stages until i read the faq and it was one of those cases where somebody tells you about something and you kind of sort of like add it to your memory when it wasn't actually true. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> by reading the FAQ, I was so certain that I had played as these characters. I had not. Well, I mean, that that's how things go sometimes, you know? Let's see, who are the other characters in the game, by the way? Iceman and Rogue. Are they any good? Uh, Rogue is one of the best characters, but she's not as good as she is in Mojo World. Uh, in Mojo World, she gets a fly over the stage and also is super strong and can punch out entire health bars of a boss in one fell punch. Okay. She, she eats health. What about in this one? I don't know. 
I didn't well, play her. I mean, I, I'm seeing that she apparently has flight as well. The ability to she absorb does... the powers and memories of others. Superhuman she... strength. Now, important question. She has the power of flight, bro. Do you know why she has the power of flight? Uh, does it include spoilers after X-Men 3, the crappiest X-Men movie of them all? No, I mean, I don't know if it's in the movies. I'm going to go with no. Oh. Uh, because of her later form... I don't know. Because, why? Why? Because she almost killed Miss Marvel. And so she got the ability to fly? Miss Marvel has the ability to fly. She's permanently gained the, the ability to fly because she almost killed Miss Marvel by absorbing her powers. Like, Well, that's really Girl? rude. Okay. I'm sorry, it was Power Girl. I might be wrong. I think in the cartoons it was Miss Marvel. Oh no, Zoe just locked Storm. Oh. Like, I think at but this point, everybody has made it to the final level. Everybody's oh, made it to the final me? level except for Zoe. Yeah, I thought it was Ms. Marvel, like. Carol Danvers, yeah, specifically Car Carol Danvers, Ms. Marvel. Yeah, I honestly, I think that. Uh. It's a little bit right. odd that just, she's able to keep some of the powers permanently. Like, well, it's because Miss Marvel is one of the most powerful, like Carol Danvers, Miss Marvel, would, before she became Captain Marvel, was one of the mo is one of the most powerful uh, characters in all of Marvel, and okay. she completely drained her for like within an inch of her life. Um, well, that's that's really rude, Rogue. And so that's why Rogue inherited uh, some of the powers, huh? At least yeah. light. Yeah. It's it's rude. like yeah, it's like you were saying. Rogue drained so much of Miss Marvel that it brought her into a coma. She had to. Miss Marvel had gone quote unquote rogue, but uh -huh. oh uh, my. she she had a reason for it, but. Basically, yeah, that's what happened. Whenever I that's hear anything about comas, I think of Seinfeld. Uh, because that one episode where Kramer basically says, you know, if I'm ever in the coma, pull the plug. And he gets his lawyer, like, to sign it and everything. And then he finds out you can come out of a coma. He's like, no, I don't want to die then. But, yeah, <laughs> it's it's good stuff. Good episode. Uh, it, it's also the episode with the jerk store. I have no idea. I never once found Seifeld funny. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. You can't teach somebody good taste. They just it's have okay. to have it. <laughs> it's a, you know, I guess you're right. <laughs> that episode where Kramer fights Miss Marvel. Yeah, he absorbs <laughs> all of her abilities. Wait, no, Seinfeld is funny. Oh my gosh, Seinfeld, wow. Seinfeld, hang, hang on, Seinfeld, it's actually, they say Seinfeld is a show about nothing because of one episode of Seinfeld specifically where he's pitching a show about nothing, but it's not. It's actually a show about where comedians get their material. That there is a are common about, misconception. I would also say that uh, that's about four to five episodes. And also, Seinfeld totally should have ended with them being sentenced to... Uh, Banya's as being his butler. They should have been sentenced to be butlers because that is really all that the ending was building up to. And then, no, it was crap. It was crap. <laughs> they should have been his butler. I have. I tried. I tried so hard to get into it. Like, they were like, it was recently on some streaming platform. I was like, heck yeah. I never liked it much as a kid, but I was a kid. Clearly, I'm going to like this humor a lot more now that I'm older and I understand so much more of it. And I'm just like, nah, actually, Seinfeld goes in the friends bin. No, what we need to do is just give you some specific episodes that uh, are good to start with. Like a lot of sitcoms, if you just start with a random episode, you're going to be like, I don't care about the characters. I don't care about any of this. No, you need somebody to hold your hand for a few episodes, okay? I, I started I started the show from the start. Yeah, the pilot sucks. 
Like, really, Seinfeld season one is very mediocre. It's not until season two that it starts getting a little bit of spice. <laughs> like, yeah, like I, I can find some joy in season one, but really, season two is where it starts becoming good. So, of note, back to the game, we have all four players on the final area here. So, this is, this is actually looking to be a pretty good, like... There is a chance here that uh, we're actually going to see the second loop, but we're closing in dramatically about towards that second loop. Like, we've only got 20 minutes left, and I don't know if we're actually going to be able to see any of the extra levels. I mean, we might. They're plowing through the first three levels pretty easily. Yeah, true. I don't know. Like, honestly, whoever beats Magneto first uh, will pretty much have a solid lead at that point. I think so. And at this point, it's not even certain that it's going to be Tetsuya who does. Uh, I, I, I'm, I think Tetsuya having the most experience with the boss gives it a very good chance. Um, but there is non-zero chance that people can get into the boss fight and figure out a good uh, attack pattern against Magneto. Has anybody run into Magneto? I know that Tetsuya fought Magneto for a little while. Tetsuya's just having a hard time right now, though. Uh, yeah? Yeah, I did Tetsuya run out of the power? Is He's just saving it. The power of flight. I mean, he's, he's probably going for... I think that might be the reason why he went for Storm instead of going for Nightcrawler, because Nightcrawler does not have the attack power required to beat Magneto effectively. Uh, he's seen the difference between Storm and him. Yeah. Um, so I think he's going for Storm in order to save up those lightning blasts for Magneto. Like, yeah, but these jumps, they're so precise, and it's hard to tell exactly where the platform begins and where it ends. Yeah, I mean, if he just oh turns gosh. on flight and goes up a little bit, he's fine. But he's he not doing that. He doesn't want to use it. He wants to save it. Is it worth it? Is it worth this minute or two that you're spending? I, mean, I have no idea. I never fought. I never fought Magneto with Storm. Uh, because Storm, even though she can fly around, I did, in fact, die with Storm. Um, Nightcrawler was the only one I beat Magneto with, mostly because of the very strong ability to get into the arena, beat up Magneto for a bit, get to low health, teleport out, go refill your mutant power and health, come back, and keep, rinse and repeat. Because there's a lot of health upgrades in here. Oh, yeah. I, I do have to say, by the way, that uh, Tetsuya is a master of platformers. Oh? And... If Tetsuya can't make those jumps, I don't know if they're really consistently doable. Yeah, I am Spectre fighting Magneto. Are we going to have a Magneto clear here? I, I am Spectre now, at least uh, with the entrance into the, the Magneto fight, does, I think, cement second place. I don't think anybody else had gotten there. Yeah, did a good amount of damage as well, I think. Unfortunately, Highwind did, in fact, welcome to die. Oh, yeah. Uh, and has dropped. Oh, no. It happens to the best of us. Uh, did did you just die as Storm? Because Yes, he definitely delivered, deliberately did it as well. Uh, he was getting, I think, either really frustrated or just decided, I'm not going to do Storm anymore. We're just going to go with the Nightcrawler who has the crappiest walk cycle I've ever seen. He just wiggles his hips back and forth. That's all he does. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I mean, when you've got hips as crazy strong as Nightcrawler, that's all you need to do. <laughs> just shuffle them hips. I guess. So, yep, Nightcrawler is, of course, going straight for the boss. It's a good idea, honestly. Don't... Don't pick up the hearts, though. Yeah, 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 especially if you can leave the arena well. There's one heart. Okay, and hopefully Tetsuya is... Uh, the blue X icon should be bringing both health and uh, mutant power. Oh, the blue one does both? Oh. I believe so. All right, Tetsuya... No, Nightcrawler, Magneto is on the other side of that fight, or is on the other side. Oh, interesting. Good check. Yeah. He's to the left, to the left. Uh -huh. Every, no, don't grab him. Stop grabbing him, Tetsuya. 
You don't understand? Don't do it! He already got the Stop collectibles. It. It's too late. Okay. It's not too late. Kicking Magneto. Kicking Magneto again. Yeah, Magneto kicks. No, I'm behind. Yeah, what you're definitely behind. Yeah. What I wasn't going to say anything, you know, it's streaming's hard. No, yeah, exactly. He has AirPods. Yeah, that's what causes all the electricity. Holding the AirPods in, in the air. So unfortunately, Magneto takes a significant amount of kicks in order to actually lure one of those health bars. Are you serious? So yeah, they yeah, have but... dealt quote unquote damage. It's just not visible yet. Yep. Yep. This is... It, it's because Nightcrawler takes, like, we saw it against Callisto. Uh, Nightcrawler takes quite a few hits in order to actually do damage to Magneto. Yeah. See, hey, there we go. There we go. We One sliver of health. Okay. All right, looks like Tetsuya is going for the teleport attack strat. I think this is probably a good way to do it. Remember, everybody, this is Ooh. easy difficulty. Now, Tetsuya, you, you've got to realize he's going to run out of mutant. He ran out uh -oh. of mutant power. Yeah, but does his health go down faster now that it's in the green? Ooh, uh, I am Spectre resetting. I don't think so, but unfortunately, I don't think Tetsuya realized he can leave the boss arena once the boss is taken down. Like, that would have been so good if he had backed out, ended up to that right, if he had missed those, if he had dodged those icons and come in and just like done damage left and gone and done the other thing that could have could have gotten him through but now he's stuck facing him the hard way and Tetsuya is doing a decent job of fighting him the hard way unfortunately it's the hard way for a reason uh yep oh my gosh honestly Mike Yam is completely correct uh in I don't know of very many other boss fights in video games where you can leave the arena once it starts. Yeah, no, Nightcrawler is so broken, he's the only one who can. Literally, they didn't decide to put a check. When you go up that elevator to the left of Magneto, a door behind you closes. If he tries to go down that elevator in order to gain power-ups and stuff from earlier in the level, he can't. The game just didn't think to fix the fact that you can't go through walls. They didn't like solidify that because it doesn't have a solid. There, there's no code in it to say Nightcrawler can't go through this. Ah, uh, and now I finally start getting a little bit of the delicious buffering, buffering, yeah, same. buffering. Tetsuya, welcome to welcome Don't to the buffer. Don't go down. He's gonna go down. Okay, I see four slivers of health. Uh, that's what we're going to be using to mark the progress here. Okay. Welcome to Twitch got... Die. Wow. Wow. We've got 10 minutes left. Yeah, four silvers of health. And Magneto might go down by the end of this. All right. So here's an important thing. So, so we've got the uh, paradoxical question of the unmovable force versus the un or the unmovable object versus the unstoppable force. All right, Blob versus Juggernaut. Who wins versus Sencha? Uh, who wins? Yep. If Juggernaut's running after Blob, who wins? How can you kill a Blob? No, you just gotta get past him. Uh, I think... Blob is declared to be the unmovable object, and and Juggernaut is declared to be, like, unable to be stopped. I feel like, honestly, Juggernaut is going to have a bit of a hard time there. So, technically, Juggernaut would actually win that, because, I mean, <laughs> did, 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 I think the floor, did, I don't think they've actually, I don't know how they wrote, wrote it. But uh, in all technicality, Blob has an actual defined power set, which is that he creates a gravitational pull from himself down to the ground. And it's like 15 meters or something, a big old sphere of influence that keeps him pinned to the ground and unable to topple over. Weird. So, but Juggernaut has an undefined ability of quote, nothing can stop the Juggernaut. Now we're gonna ignore all the parts in X-Men history where something stops the Juggernaut. 
because that happens remarkably a lot. Well, yeah, you can't have somebody who ha is basically invincible and doesn't die. That would be dumb, you know. We are also at two health bars for Tetsuya. He's oh actually fighting gosh. back with this last bar of health. It's I don't believe it. Impressive. I don't believe it. Tetsuya is really a good player, okay? You realize what we've just done? Do you realize what we've just done? No. What did we do? Killed Magneto? Continuous curse. No, oh, you're... Seth is actually making really good progress with Cyclops as well here. I don't believe in commentator's curse, okay? They're not listening. We can't curse anybody. All that they have is their own stress. And if they choke, that's all a jinx is. It's actually a choke in disguise. That's true. It's a choke with something to blame. Yeah. It's a... <laughs> this is such a good strat from Tetsuya. And Cyclops, Seth has that same strat. No! And... Wait! No! no! Oh! I watched Magneto's health bar disappear! And Seth is dead. I don't think Tetsuya's happy. I don't think anybody's happy right now. We had the... Tetsuya had one bar of health, and I swear <laughs> it looked like that was a double KO. Well, I mean, it might have been. <laughs> a double KO on the final boss. If anybody else kills the boss and actually triggers the ending, that will be a lead. That's, That's so dumb. But they have to kill the boss and not die. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if you don't kill it. What, what might have happened is that Tetsuya might have gotten the hit. And because Magneto's uh, weapon didn't re despawn because of the hit, not, or because of Magneto no longer existing. So it went to a different animation and left the projectile in stream screen, which might have been the reason why Tetsuya got hit. I have no idea. Uh, honestly, I think hypothesis. Tetsuya was just a little bit slower. Oh, Cadus is saying Magneto's bar just disappears when you die. So, uh, okay. it probably wasn't a double KO then. It's just he got down to one bar of health. It would take somebody actually killing Magneto to beat Tetsuya. Now, I think I want to say that Tetsuya's got a really strong chance here with Cyclops, though. Storm had a problem where Tetsuya was refusing to do the flying yep. in order to save up mutant power. Cyclops is the best for platforming in this game because he has a double jump. He has oh, yeah. that flip jump. I like the double jump. It's good. Honestly, uh, yeah, considering that most of the players are on to the final level right now, we have a decent chance of seeing a significant damage towards Magneto. Uh, Zoe, by the way, was pretty far behind, but now she is getting to the point where she may be able to get to Magneto and make a huge amount of progress by dealing damage. Honestly, I, I think it's all going to come down to how much damage did each player deal to Magneto. Now, only one person is getting eliminated from this match. Uh, so, yeah, Magneto is the, the, the thing. He the thing. Wait, did Spectre also die to Magneto at the same time? I'm pretty sure Spectre died to Magneto. I mean, that clip says that all three players died basically at the same time, so... I didn't notice the Spectre. I'm sorry, Spectre. It's not that I didn't, like, it's not that I'm ignoring you or anything, but you're a Spectre. Your name even says it, and I can't see Spectres. Ah! Watch out, the ghosties are gonna get you. Oh, Zoe, not Spectre. Oh, well, then I don't have any idea what's going on. Wait, so Zoe's seen the, oh. What's that? Maybe, I'm... I, I'm getting a phone call that says, oh, hello? Yes? Oh, uh, yeah? Leave the refereeing to Kate because you have no idea what's going on because it's hard to pay attention to four screens while also doing commentary at the exact same time. So don't worry about it. No, but but that would ask for Kate to do a lot. Of, oh, oh, you don't need to use such profanity. Go away. I don't know who that was. Thank you and so why their much. Phone call by was the so way, topical. I'm I'm gonna thank Kate for 
Uh, honestly, being here, like, there are many times that I've tried to give Kate a break. And he said, no, I'm doing it. It's my thing. <laughs> I'm, okay, okay, I'm not gonna, not gonna say no to our referee because what if, what if he gives me, like, a yellow card? That yeah, I mean, good. you don't want to get slammed by your own ref. Yeah. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta let Kate do the thing. <laughs> Uh, honestly, though, Kate put in, puts in a lot of work making sure things are scheduled and helping out uh, with things. I, like, honestly, thanks to him, he, we uh, were able to get through quite a few tournaments, and we've got this fifth one going on right now. Thank you as well to all the mods, the GMs, and everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah our social media as well. Uh, everybody has made things pretty dang awesome. So, Kate, how do I poach you for Mystery Tournament 15? You should pay him. Oof. That's hard for me to do. Well, I want to pay Kate. I want to get enough money during streams that I can pay Kate. Because Yo, he does so, so much. Kate can get paid. <laughs> if one of you... I'll tell you what. If I see a subscriber a subscription right now with a subscription message that is appropriate for stream, I will dramatically read the next subscription message. And I mean dramatically. Like, you'll be impressed how good this is. Watch this. Huh. Go ahead, do it. Subscribe, post I'm, a message in your subscription. The first one to show up, I'm going to do it. That's I, right, This Bersentia. is going to be I'm, scary. I'm, yeah. That's right, Bersentia. I'm, 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 I'm shilling for you. I really don't I don't shill on my turn. I can shill my myself, turn. okay? Yeah, but I'm don't a, you want to hear a dramatic read of a random subscriber message? I mean, every day I do. But also... I, I I can chill. I'm I'm good. I'm good at that. No, actually, I mean, I'm pretty trash at that. Me. Other yeah, people always say... are like, "Wow, you're terrible at marketing yourself." I'm like, "That's because I went into the humanities, and we hate capitalism." I mean, if you if I if I cross the line there with that, bro, Sentry, just tell me, and I won't I won't do anything like that. Nah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. You want that money so we can pay Kate? Come on, this isn't about you. This is about Kate, bro, Sentry. This is about Kate. Uh -oh. Has anyone really been far, even has decided to even go want to look more like? There you it, go, Tristan. That's a very difficult phrase. That was you. You skipped a word, though. Did I? Don't remember which word, but yeah. Thank you, Tristan. <laughs> it's it's a good phrase. A good phrase, Tristan. You're too awesome. Uh, yeah, we are to the final thirty seconds. Is and that to gonna? See it now has. No, Tetsuya, what are you doing? He's got a barrier up! You can't get the shot through the barrier! You've just wasted all of your uses! Well, uh, and Tetsuya goes down. Well, that was cool. Good try there. Good try. I'm proud. Yeah, oh, I missed use. Oh, yeah, I did miss use. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Tristan, I failed you. I can't reread it because that just, like, ruins the prestige of it. But, like, there it goes. That is time. It is indeed time. Oh, that is totally not what I meant to do. I, oh, stupid YouTube. Stupid YouTube. Stupid, stupid YouTube. YouTube. There we go. That's good music. Time, everybody. Life has been summoned back into this stream. Tetsuya definitely taking the victory today. Tetsuya was super good fighting the boss. Managed to deal a lot of damage. And it appears that Seth Highwind took second. Uh, as for third and fourth, Calm slash I Am Spectre appears to have taken third. And Zoe Vermilion takes fourth. Unfortunately, that means Zoe is eliminated. How do you feel the players did, though? I think they did rather quite well. Uh, let me take a look here. Of course, as we know, I've mentioned before, I take extensive notes or reasonable notes. Whatever. Extensive, reasonable. I don't know about how well I do in games, including how, what day I beat them on, what time, how long it took me to beat them, and how, what I felt about it. It took me two hours and five minutes to beat the easy mode there. Really? Uh, and my notes on this was terrible game. Bosses were either complete pushover or impossible. Awful animations. Overall, I actively regret playing this game. Wow. Those are strong thoughts. Tetsuya, how do you feel about the game? Boy, I I actually didn't think it was that bad. Most of the bosses you could just mash out, but I I swear to you, 
I was sweating bullets as soon as I got to Magneto, and I had, like, nothing left. Oh. <laughs> and he one-taps me for a quarter of my life. So, yeah, like, this is it. This is how I die. It was. Do you want to, do you want to know why Nightcrawler's overpowered? Well, he can just ignore every wall. <laughs> every wall, including the walls while you're in the boss arena. Yeah, I was noticing that. I dropped in on a couple bosses, like, on the, uh... No, think about Second that. level? Third level? Think about it, Tetsu. You're going to be so think, sad when you realize think, it. Think, what advantages could that have if you can get out of the boss arena? What, does it, like, cause him to despawn? Or no, no you can just nope out and go get health collectibles. And then oh, God. And him. Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> thinking about that the last time I was uh, fighting Magneto when I went into that room that seemed specifically designed for Nightcrawler. It's like, hey, here's all these health ups and all these power ups and stuff. And I, I grabbed them the first time, not knowing I was going to drop in. I'm like, oh, those aren't available to me. If I could have them available to me, I could probably just jump in and out and keep beating them up. But I especially sure didn't. when you realize that the teleport does decent amount of damage to, Nic or to Magneto. I didn't. I actually just mashed him out. And then when I was below on health, I teleported away and came back. I couldn't even get him on the cycle you were doing. That was impressive. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with your first assessment that you might have wanted to ban Nightcrawler and Storm because, my God, just like the ability to trivialize the entire level was a game changer. But oh, yeah. yeah. That as was... far as Game Gear games go, that wasn't the worst. It was like, you, you know how there's go right games and platformers? Worst. Yep. Yeah, there, there's like games where you go right and you expect to see a semblance of good level design. And then there's games where they're like, oh, it's the first level. You go left and you know you're in for some serious crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Every level was amazing. Uh, I think my favorite part of that was when in as Nightcrawler, you got to almost the end of the second stage and then teleported back to the start. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> well, honestly, I loved also trying to watch you platform as Storm. Uh, that sucks. Like, it, as soon as I realized that I couldn't double jump and I was out of my fly ability. Oh, you and... were out! <laughs> we yeah, thought I, you were I, just holding it for the boss. No, you can't double jump and I was out of fly, so I'm like, okay. The only way out is to maybe, like, grab the pixel with the edge of my boot at the height of my jump. It was kind of working sometimes, but Almost. I... Almost! Like, I, I don't know if it's even doable. You yeah, tried I'm not so sure. hard. I didn't want to spend 20 minutes trying it out, so I let the random moot pummel me to death and get the promotion he was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> what a good... You know, I feel like... If you're going to die, you might as well help somebody, you know, step up in the corporate ranks. Yeah, that's it, man. Just like so beat the tar out of me, get a promotion, maybe get some weekends off. You deserve it. <laughs> oh, put, your kid yeah. school, put your kid through school, school by my demise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we are going to need to move on to the last match in just a second. Tetsuya, congratulations. You are looking to have a really solid chance of making it into the bracket. So seriously, great job there. Yeah, I had a great time. Thanks for the game, Blasphemous. Thanks for putting it on, Presentia. As always, having a great time. Yeah, anything you're streaming that people should go check out? Uh, actually, yeah, I, I started doing a task of a little game called Incredible Crisis that I'm sure some of <laughs> oh, you are I aware love of. that. Oh, dear. Um, I've been working for, like, the two runners of this game uh, have wanted to figure out how to save what little time we could, so I've been tasking it and found out some pretty interesting stuff, like, it's uh, it's a pretty on rails game, but you can kind oh, yeah. of break it off the rails if you're a machine. Isn't so that pretty fun? Isn't that just basically you and Yorkie at that point? Yeah, it's me, Yorkie, and uh, Ju Zero that are pretty much working on it. And That's pretty awesome. <laughs> there, there's like maybe four mini games the whole game where you can kind of save time. <laughs> so the the task is pretty funny because it can do things humans can't. Yay, humans! Uh... <laughs> and our limited abilities to do stuff. 
Yeah. <laughs> Tetsuya, thank you so much. You too, Blasphemous Roar. Both of you, take care. Have a great afternoon. Yeah, take yeah. care. Thanks for having me. Sure thing. Well, everybody, Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament, is still on full speed ahead. Yeah, we have multiple matches, and that's just to get to the bracket. Uh, luckily, everybody who submitted, uh, we usually try to keep things a little bit more relaxed. Not a huge amount of commitment on your own time. Usually people have about one, maybe two matches a month. So I appreciate everybody's willingness to sort of kick back, laugh during the games, and, you know, play when <laughs> their fate has been chosen. <laughs> Thank you as well to the subscribers, followers, and everybody else who is supporting the channel. Uh, we will be right back after one short ad as I do a little bit of setup. See you in one minute. Oh. oh my gosh, I love this music. Time Lord. Time Lord NES is so good. At least the music is. I'm awesome. Oh, you're awesome. You're all awesome. Yeah, I have a super mega crush on everybody in chat. Don't tell the other people in chat, though, okay? You can't hear me, because I'd be so embarrassed. I'm already blushing. Mm. <laughs> oh. 